Oh, hello folks, welcome one and all back to finally a new console commentary. Fuck me, I have been waiting a long time for this one. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You know, that game that got released over two years ago. Yeah. I've been actually meaning to cover this for quite a while. Oh god. It'll take me at least a minute so I'll explain, so I'll just quickly get us through. Basically, this game was released in November 2015. That was about almost 25 months ago. This is now December of 2017. And basically, I did play it for a few months. Uh, if you want to give a quick opinion, it's basically, I think it's the second worst out of all the Call of Duty's to place. Only kind of behind Black Ops 2. Yeah, it was kind of painful, but... This, I felt much more strongly about than the third worst, which I'd say was a... Honestly, out of all of them, probably... A tough one, but had to be Modern Warfare 3 and Naz. Uh, but I'll explain more of that in detail. And that, you know. All right. So as far as this game goes, yeah, you'll be surprised. I actually attempted this campaign and uh, way back ages ago. And uh, you know, God, like. I remember the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, I actually gave that two goals, one on the easiest of coin, and one on the hardest. God, that was a fucking mistake. But, eh, I did it, stuck it in. Yeah, that was a... something. <laughs> then Black Ops, I did give a go, complete the campaign the first time, tried to fit it on the same, but I just kind of gave up about common missions in. And then Modern Warfare 3, did the campaign once, uh... But after that, the next two, Black Ops 2 and Ghosts, I never even really tried. Whereas with this, I thought, you know what, it's different enough. Fuck it, I'll give it a shot. And yeah, I actually kind of enjoyed it. And uh, of course, I don't think I'd go back to it. And I think I've started again, but... Honestly, because of how far it is, and uh, you know, how far it's been, just... Fucking hell. And... Oh, man. Yeah, you can also tell they've added this fifth difficulty realistic, which basically is going to fuck you up. Not exactly my kind of thing, but uh, there you go. Yeah, it's also amusing they've got all kinds of like call cards and that specifically for the campaign, which is very interesting. They've never actually done that before, at least not as far as I recall. They might have advanced warfare a bit. Uh, right. Then, of course, you have here your zombies. Okay. Oh. Oh, fun stuff like that. Fucking hell. Yeah. I've been. Fuck it. I'm at a lot of words because it's been that long. And, uh, you know, like. Jesus Christ. I still wonder is it still the same? Yep, still the one same, but look at all this. I remember, uh. Der Eisendratch, that was the only one that was available at the time. But now there's all of these different ones. Yeah, not. Oh, downloadable content, of course, but. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, a bit of a pity, though, considering that if you think about the other ones I've bought zombies, Black Ops 3, no, the first game, I actually had three. And now if you clear the arcade, and then second one, well, I think ever since the second one, now it's only been one. Which I think made Black Ops 2 egregiously bad, because there was only just that, that the zombies mode. Not even a arcade or anything, but... Oh, uh, well, there you go. And yeah, what's interesting about this one in particular is the whole... Gobble system? Like, these power-ups you can get. And... Yeah, they're kind of intriguing in a way, seeing as <clears throat> they have all these different power-ups. And uh, if I, I'll try and see if I can go through them. Alright. So, yeah, these are like all the different ones that I've had so far, and uh, it's like... I 
I don't know how I feel about them, you know? Yeah, it's the fact that with these power-ups, it kind of changes the Zombies games fundamentally. I would argue it gives it something of a pay-to-win mentality, but it's not exactly competitive in the traditional sense. Oh, fuck. And then there's DLC, of course. Jeez, that's another thing that wasn't there when I first started. Jeez. And yeah, you can certainly tell I've been collecting a bunch. And that, uh, you know. I mean, I would say that with these ones, it's like some of them are indeed extremely useful. Like, for example, the instant sale, that's a really good one. Uh, let's see, what else? So what's that one? That, you know, this one, that is a fucking godsend, especially when you're, like, doing really good. Yeah. And that, that could also be really useful. Uh... I'm not sure why, I think that's just basically the other one, but, you know, it gives you a perk in addition, you know? And of course that's also extremely good, you know, but, right. See, this is the thing, isn't it, you know? I heard that. You know, now I'm pretty sure some of these I don't, I, I never had this, I think. As far as Ultra, I only had this one, but even then I might be wrong. Yeah, no. Yeah, I suspect those are uh, random gobble go things I got twice or six in total. It's probably that. But eh. If I ever do come back, this will be something really interesting to try out. Oh man. And then again, you can go full on out with a. Uh, these weapons now, yeah, you can actually fucking customize them, which is very surprising. <laughs> you know, like, oh, right. Oh, wait till I show you this, the ones in mall player. Oh boy, that's gonna be a fun one. But man, it's just, this is just it, isn't it? You know, like, there is certainly something fun to toy around with all these guns. Yeah, you know? And this is what I like about it, you know? Yeah, I think there's certainly some really fancy. Like, you, you saw there, some of the skin colours are like really just fucking wild. Yeah, you know? Certainly fucking impressive, to say the least. But, oh man. Alright, so, the big one multiplayer. How is it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so, as far as I remember, I do recall getting to, I think, second prestige, I think? Uh, I'm just going to show for combat record here. Yeah, prestige 2. Yeah, I never actually, also yeah, you get your combat records for the campaign, in addition to zombies at more player, which is like fucking hilarious. <laughs> you know, like, god damn. Yep, ICR1, that was my go-to gun. And you know, okay, you want to know this right. In the campaign, you also got these power-ups. And that. Uh, you know, like... There was a bit of a problem with this, though. I almost never used them, like... Again, maybe it was just the ones I was using, but... I found most of them just weren't particularly useful. I can't even remember what the, this one here in particular, these two were for. I think I was just f fucking up the robots and here maybe just temporarily turning them against the enemies. I don't know. I don't suspect that's what it was for, but even then, only 38 kills with the highest one. Well, then again, actually, no, 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 actually, this one's a bit more, a lot more balanced. Now, take in mind, this is the single player. You're completely tied to all the stuff that happens in the single player game. And that, so obviously, what you're seeing here isn't how I would play it 
in the main game also fucking hell with Annihilator. Oh man. And of course I only use three explosives, god damn. Alright, and then you've got here, zombies. And of course, the motherfucking dingo. Yeah, you'll notice uh, the top four, three of them are machine guns. There's a very good reason for that. And it's primarily due to how light machine guns are extremely good for handling crowds. Extremely good. It cannot be underestimated. Though, there is a... Where is it? The Dracon, that's pretty good for handling crowds in that mid-stage and that. And then there's also this one, Assault Rifle, which is pretty powerful alongside the ICR. But late game, you're going to want these two bad boys. You are going to want them. Yeah. The other reason the Gorgon is kind of shit is because of its slow fire rate. But other than that, it's not too bad. Yeah, no, but yeah, the rest of these are just guns that I just had to use early on, you know. Yeah, but man, uh, it's funny looking back though, eh? And of course, fuck all kills with these. And uh, of course, there's armed grace, which I can't actually remember. I think that's the one that revives you if you if you get taken down, and uh, that makes you bleed out for a lot longer. Uh, that just makes you invisible to them for a little bit. That, I can't remember. Uh, that, I think it just lets you move around faster. That just teleports you, that brings an instant sail. That decreases your melee attack. That's the one that I really like giving you the fifth perk. Uh, that I'm not sure. That gives you an instant ammo back up and this makes it I think I just tested this once just to be on the safe side to see if it worked and that. Uh, but yeah, I've yet to actually use the rest and that, which is hilarious because there's like dozens that I've yet to try. And of course, of course, Shadows of Evil, the one and most likely the only map I'll ever try. Will I try the others? Really? No, I won't. You know, even though I have the money and. That is an interesting situation. I actually have quite a bit of money left over on my PS account for this. But I'm not going to spend it on these kind of things. And I'll say why on that. But more on that later. I'll probably mention it during the second video on that. But yeah. Then there's a the multiplayer. Oh man. There is the multiplayer. Alright, so where to start from here? Alright, I suppose I might as well go over the weapons. Yes, the Kuda, surprisingly. I'm thinking, you're, for me being the kind of camper guy, how the fuck did the Kuda get so high that it's almost double that, the second highest? Yeah, I'm a bit surprised at that myself. And yet, the fucking rocket launcher is the third highest. Yeah, the rocket launcher is kind of powerful. And, uh, you know, if, if you get uh, that's an easy two or three kills early on. Not too fucking bad, you know. Sword Rifle, this is like, these two weapons I'm pretty sure are very early, like the first 10 levels or something, but yeah, I can't help but use them. They're reliable, uh, you know. And then again, you've also got others, you know, like the Man of War, that's actually a half decent one. The Shotgun, that's a fucking impressive, even though the KD says otherwise, I mean, None of these, except for the rocket launch, yeah, none of these are particularly great. Yeah, it's unfortunate because, uh, you know, I've been wanting to try and get, like, I don't know, I just want to try and get maintain a pretty good kill-death ratio, and for the most part, that's easier said than done. You know, but, eh. What you gonna do? Oh, right. And yeah. So I've still yet to try the Haymaker. Fuck, who, who the fuck would use a fist, seriously? <laughs> and yeah, these three and that. Oh, right. Then, okay, this is. I'm just realised I'm gonna have to spend a bit of time in this. 
these are a new part, like, if you remember correctly, right, back in Ghosts, they had these customizable characters, right, you know, you finally had female soldiers, as it were, yes, and you were able to customize them, and now, you know, I think as your character got more skills, start unlocking certain, you know, special kind of clothes and that for them, you know, just to make you stand out more. Well, here they take away the customization part, but there's still females in them, but now it's like these actual characters, and uh, which again you can kind you can kind of go all out on, and now uh, it's just well I say all out, kind of it's uh I'll have to show it once I uh, go for this, but yeah these are the three main well Tempest was the first first one I started off with, and probably explain why like it's got the most kills. Then Scythe, that's what I've been using right now, and it's looking to be pretty good. You know, so here's hoping to get some of that. And Vision Pulse, that was uh, Outrider, that's the one I used for a second. And that, and eh, not too bad. Yeah, I want to try and go for each and every character, but I don't even know if I'll be able to accomplish that. I mean, yeah, there's others like Spectre, Seraph, uh, the Blackjack. I'm pretty sure he's an added one, you know, because that's the thing and that I don't recall him being in the game, so I saw when it came up to 20 instead of 18, I thought, hold on, they've added a new specialist, but yeah, that will get my hands on him, but hey-ho, oh, uh, you never know. That's another thing, and oh god, I'll need to talk about it, because yeah, this is a big one. Alright, well, quickly covering through the equipment here. Of course, strip mines, they're fucking beastly. Add in the shock charge and it fucks people up. Unless they've got the perks that makes them immune to them, so they can just go through it. Yeah, the problem is there's so many ways for this to be fucked over that it kind of messes with your strategy, so you can't really rely on them. But they're nice for those who don't have the perks to defend them from. And of course, Scobs. Kill streaks here, and yeah. Of course, what'd you expect? You be kill you with the top two, but oh man, I haven't not got that many. If you consider it, be surprised the servers got a good few times. But then again, I'll use it thirty times. And now it's here. Yeah, apparently I had a fucking reef once, but I never got one fucking kill with it. Yeah, no, it's like fucking ridiculous. Oh man, of course, Team Deathmatch. Shockingly, I have a 1.94 win loss ratio. I don't know how the fuck I got that. My win loss ratio, if you're curious, is usually shit. How did I get a 1. Point? I thought it was maybe 1.4 or something. I didn't think it was 1.9. That's shockingly good. Which is really fucking impressive. And that, you know, like, just, how, how did I do so good? Alright, now we get to figure the fun part, how do I, I don't want to fucking do that. Yeah, how do I customise my look? Ah, oh boy. Yeah, I want to try getting my call cards, but I can't figure out how... Because as I said, it has been fucking ages since I've last done this. Uh, there's I saw show my inventory while I'm here. Only done four, but admittedly I like that exotic diamond one. You know, the first three were shit, but the fourth one I actually did put some effort into, and that was that was a fancy one, you know. Oh man. And then there's a. I don't know why I'm not my clips of recording, because I remember I had a few and that, uh, but it seems like they've all vanished and now it's just a bit of... <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they brought back the theatre, but it's kinda... I don't know, pointless and that. Uh, you know? Let me see. Oh yeah, whilst I'm here and that, just quick go for here. You know, this being my soldier class. Reliable as always. And that's something I did have fun with. And then your fighter, that's the class that 
as always, the some machine gun rocket launcher, yeah, we use that a good bit as well. Then there's Warrior, I don't use that as much, but still has its moments. Marksman is basically all on out shotgun class, with seconds being whatever I pick up. That I've not used as much, well, I've experimented with and it has mixed results. I said no, I'm pretty sure that that used to be something else, but I can't, God knows what it was. I think maybe a sniper rifle or something. The Knight, that's a sort of rocket launcher, kind of similar to Black Ops Camera Pirates, quite nice. Constable, again, that used to be something else, a handgun and that. And Paladin, that being similar to Fighter, except it has a more of a more defensive supportive purpose, so take that as you will. Uh, oh, right. Now, the now the very interesting part. Yep. Do you, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know what these are called? Let me tell you, these are known as loot boxes. Oh yes, this is a very funny time to mention this because back two three weeks ago it's been getting absolutely ridiculous like these this is the first time I've ever saw these and, uh, and yeah people apparently pay a shit ton of money to buy dozens of these I've never really done that I mean maybe most I've saved up to get a couple of rares and just the rest of them I just get comments whenever I get the chance but apparently people have gotten really addictive towards them. Also, noticing the prices, they have definitely reduced it. It's like a tenth of what it used to be. Very interesting that. And they've also done these bundles and now, which they never used to do before, but I don't know if they've actually changed it. And there's also these contracts, which, again, reminiscent of the first game, but... Yeah, it's... Fuck yeah. Oh man, so yeah, it's time to see what it's like anyway. Oh man, but. Yeah, so. Evidently, this is something that I'll be. I'll just try to quickly show off the now, see if I can. Show off here. And no. Yeah, I can't figure out how the fucking change of coal car and that. Thought it would have been too by now, but no. Alright, so yeah, I guess this will be it. So, next time, you'll see me covering the videos and that. And, oh boy, do I have a quite the bit to show you here, but I guess I'll let you see it's fine. So, tell them, folks.